legacy systems are AS400 green screens uh, built on technology from the early 80s, uh, some as far as close as the 90s, but uh, this uh, technology is something in which uh, not many people can manage and or have even worked on in today's environment. Um, most school kids aren't being trained on it. Uh, the, and the available number of employees is, is actually reducing at a sharp rate to work on these systems. Even if you hire someone that is uh, new out of school and you, you think you can train them up on this legacy technology, that technology training that you're going to provide is usually uh, very shallow. Uh, the, the, the deep core logic that is taught isn't the same practices up underneath the hood. And those uh, and that, that technology is something in which uh, the person who's been working on it 10, 20 years, they're not going to find a lot of help on either after that, that person leaves or, or even if they're on their own for a while. The, the business impact of not being able to support the systems uh, with new hires is uh, number one, you have to maintain your existing staff uh, oftentimes at higher rates and usually, uh, again, it's not what they want to do. You lose the ability to uh, support the system in, in a way in which you need to and your timelines drag out, your, your new product markets take longer or, or can't be done at all. Um, and you, you end up uh, losing some of that competitiveness in the marketplace because you're not able to move at the speed you want to. We've had some customers that have converted over from a legacy system. Uh, their staff was very limited and even had a staff member uh, uh, pass away. And so the, the, that, that was the main person who knew everything about the system. So uh, they were forced to get in and actually work around the issue and so processes became longer. Uh, they were actually out of compliance uh, with the state mandates and uh, they ended up getting fined.